Hey everyone. What can you observe from these clocks other than the time they show? What are the most important shapes in geometry? Many concepts in geometry are based on this. So, did you figure it out? Here we are talking about angles. Every time the hand of the clock moves, it forms a different angle. Right? Angles is basically a combination of two rays with a common end point called as a vertex. And the word angle comes from a Latin word angulus which means a corner. So, a few basic type of angles are acute angle, obtuse angle and right angle. Acute angle where acute means sharp and these angles measures anything between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Well, an angle which have maybe a measure of 1 degree or maybe 89.99 degrees. But both will be acute angles only. And surely we must have observed them in various of such places. The next type of angle is called as right angle because the measure of the angle is 90 degrees. And based on this angle, you will learn a very important concept of trigonometry. Now the last one is obtuse angle, where obtuse means blunt. So can you guess what will be the range or what will be the measure of these angles will be? Right, since the acute was sharp and it was less than 90, so here obtuse means blunt, so it will be more than 90 and it will be less than 180 degrees. Well, these three angles cover only the three type of clocks that we have shown. But then what about the fourth clock? Right? We missed that one. The fourth clock also shows an angle called as a straight line angle. And this angle measures 180 degrees. Well, what do you think this angle can be called as? So if you guys said that it's an acute angle, then you're correct. But then we do have one more type of angle in here. Can you think what it will be? The measure of these angles is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. And such angles are called as reflex angles. Have you ever thought a circle as an angle? Well, it's strange, right? But then this is called as a full angle and the measure of this angle is exactly 360 degrees. If we see the clocks, there were only two hands. So let's take a watch with the third hand also. Now here we can see two angles but they have a common arm. Right? And these type of angles are called as adjacent angles. Now just because the two angles are side by side or adjacent to each other, these are called as adjacent angles. Now we know when an angle is cut by another ray, we have adjacent angles, right? Now when the addition of these adjacent angles is 90 degrees, these angles are called as complementary angles. And when a straight line angle is cut by another ray, these angles are called as supplementary angles. When supplementary angles are also called as linear pair of angles linear because they lie on a straight line and there are two angles hence a pair. Can you believe that till now we have learnt about nine different types of angles? Let's make a round figure by learning one more type of angle. Well there is one more type of angle hidden in this clock. Can you figure it out? These angles are called as vertically opposite angles and one of the interesting fact is that the vertically opposite angles are always equal. Well, there are various different types of angles and if you want to learn about them, you can watch our video on lines and angles. Till then, observe and apply the math around you and keep learning. And yes, do like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.